I'm going to get started on modeling my Blender Challenge 17 futuristic sort of sci-fi prison. And if you were to do a Google search for that, you would find some images that are going to be very similar to what I uh, am going to do. I'm going to try to keep this kind of simple uh, as well. And then I'll start adding some details. So this is sort of a block out face. And what I've got here is just the default cube. I've got my screencast keys down here. And I'm going to create the cell. And then I'm going to copy that or instance it. And uh, I may be making some changes along the way, but this is just to start getting an idea. So I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to look down from the top. And I'm going to scale this in the Y. Press SY. And just lengthen it out to sort of a shape that I would want for myself so something like that so now I'm going to come in again press 3 and select that face and delete that face and imagine that's that's the cell let's give it some thickness first of all by coming to the modifiers and pressing solidify and giving it some thickness uh, on the inside like that so that I can see it now I'm going to switch right away to the cavity shader and make it easier for me to see the edges so imagine that is my prison cell right there now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a Let's say we go for a cube. Go into edit mode and press 3. I want to make a rectangle about that thickness, maybe. I'm going to pull it over to here. I'm going to put a bevel on this. I'm going to go for 3, 0 0.01. And I'm going to have this sort of standing on the bottom or close to the bottom. I'm not too worried about the top because I'll be putting a roof on this. it over to the other side now I'm going to take all of this stuff press M new collection and I'm going to call this jail cell I'm going to set the origin of geometry cursor is selected shift A collection instance jail cell I'm going to look from the side and just try to position this a little bit better it didn't come in perfectly and just move this over just this is just to get an idea for the time being everything that I do this one will happen to the other one as well and it doesn't increase my poly count okay I'm going to bring in another cube and bring it over here out a little ways scale that in the Y and just position this in the middle there and I'll even bring this down like I said I'll put the floor there let's go ahead and put a bevel on that as well of 3 0 0.01 
let's copy that over here just for now okay let's come back to this here and come in and uh, maybe we'll take no, I think we'll bring in we're gonna bring in a plane and make some bars scale in the X and pull it out here scale it in the Y S Y extrude it, E, and pull it up a little bit. We're going to put a bevel on that as well. Don't worry about smoothness right now. Okay, so let's imagine that this is up I'll put it this way. We'll go ahead and do array in the Z. Zero out the X though. And go for, let's see, let's bring that down. Hmm. We'll start with six. bring the 3d cursor to the two let's set the origin of geometry and bring the 3d cursor there and now let's bring in a cylinder let's make it like just 12 vertices and nothing on top let's scale it down so it fits inside there does slide it over press the period key to focus on that shift alt and click those bottom edges pull it down scale shift z make it a little thinner shift alt and click the upper and look from the side and pull it out we'll make it go right into the uh into the ceiling there Shade smooth on that just for now. Let's go ahead and do a ray. We'll do it in the Y. Start pulling it out. Hold down shift so it goes a bit slower. Zero that out. Do something like that. Now I don't think I want these perfectly square. I'm going to revisit this and see. and move it to the jail cell you'll see it's propagated to there I'm gonna change this okay I'm going to apply that one one two three four five six seven eight nine this one in here I'm going to come in select a piece of that and control L to select linked I think I'll first bring my 3d cursor there and then I'm going to delete that one 
Mm. Yeah. And then right there, I'm going to bring in another plane. face here press 3 and select that face and I'll probably change the thickness of that shift D pull it out scale that in the Z actually and in the Y extrude it out control L to select the whole thing and P to break it out so I've got a separate object there I use that in a moment I'm gonna take this and this and press the slash key to focus on it. I'm going to take this and I'm going to scale this in the X a little bit. Okay, slash key to bring stuff back. Okay, so we got that. Okay, I'm going to push it on here a little bit. Pull that out a bit more. I'm going to scale this in the Y a little bit more. And, um, through the back side here and then take the front so it comes out let's go ahead and move that to the jail cell and make some kind of a simple um, pad Throwing an edge loop there and an edge loop here. Edge loop down there. Let's take these two and control B to start with and split them like this. And then I'll take this bottom one and pull it down a bit more. Put an edge loop here and control B, pull it out to make a space. And then just take select and face selection, those two. Heat extrude and pull them in just a little bit and put maybe an emission texture on that. And down here, do the some kind of a keypad. So I'll just extrude that in a little bit as well. Like that. Um, maybe an edge selection to select these edges on the outside. And We'll try Control B. I could leave it like that. Let's have a look at that. Versus rounding it like that. Which I'm, I might like a little bit better. We can do some other stuff on the sides, whatever. You'll notice that as I move this, it moves the other one. We'll do other stuff there. So again, we're just you know, sort of blocking out for now. We're also going to need um, up here something. So let's go ahead and copy that. Oops. 
Okay, select that, press I to inset. Scale in the Y and scale in the Z. We'll just push that in a little bit. To these three here, select this interface with Control Plus. I'm going to switch over to individual origins and we'll scale these in the Y, S, Y. Pull them out, make them bigger on this one. Now a little bit more narrow. In fact, let's not have it the same height. Control Plus and let's S, Z. Just do that. Maybe S, Y a little bit. Let's go back to median point so we have some difference uh, between them. Let's take that and copy it back over here. going to do this and let's just uh, copy this over just to get a sense of how it's starting to look I think I want these things a little bit a little bit longer in the back I'll go into all of them and select the back face and just pull them back here like that Let's check, yeah, everything's facing the right way so far. Let's have a look with a different matte cap, just to see the shadows and stuff. So this creates the wall. We have those there. Okay, let's go back just to turn off the shadow for now. Let's throw a quick uh, plane here for a roof. Just to see what this would be like. Okay, we'll grab that edge and just swing it back grab this and grab this edge and just pull it down to here in fact we can take that and just duplicate it for the moment and put it down here now if we look at our face this one is red so I'm going to go alt it oops that's not what I'm going to do I'm going to go Alt N and flip yeah, this one. Probably have to separate it out. Let's see if I can just take that one and flip. There we go. I will 
go ahead and put the shadow on again. That's what it's looking like. Just thinking about whether or not I would want uh, these actually recessed in. I don't know. I don't know. thing let's hide this and this and let's uh, go ahead and let's see this thing I better move that into it is in the jail cells I don't know, maybe it wasn't for the others let's uh, duplicate this and um, rotate y90 scale in the X and in this uh, and scale in the Z move it in here actually let's grab that and do it like this take this all in sort of like like a bed of some sort I'll scale that in the X a bit more and for the moment we'll just push it almost like right in so that's there and then let's duplicate it scale it in the Z like a little shelf of some sort. Um, I'll bring it up. I'm gonna come grab this back here. Wireframe, grab that. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna uh, shift D and duplicate the whole thing. Scale in the X, but I'll go P and I'll break it out. So I got that as a separate piece, and then we'll just uh, take this top here. If I can get just the top, doesn't matter. Pull it up near the ceiling. Maybe not quite that wide, though. Do this kind of thing. 
I'll go back to solid. Um, and let's let's go ahead and delete that face, and then put on solidify. And bring it up though. Make it come in a little. Maybe even. Okay, I can touch all this up later. Grab this bottom, Shift D, duplicate it, pull it up. And edge selection, grab this edge and just pull it in a bit. And uh, this edge, pull it in so it's not sticking out a little bit. And then select and Control L, Shift D, move that down. Well, just, just maybe that for now. Okay, I can apply that later and put edge loops and stuff. And I'll just. Uh, I don't know, actually. Let's grab that face and let's let's pull it down like this. And then, then maybe we will need uh, Control L, Shift D, maybe one more. Make them a little bit even. Doesn't doesn't mean I'm um, That's also in the collection. So let's just see if I do that. Let's take these things and move them into, uh, let's just call it roof for now, just so, so it's out of there. And I can easily do that. But you can see how this stuff is propagated along. Let's just take this one and scale that in the Z again. So that's what I'm coming up with so far. Uh, I would extend it further down and also on the other side and uh, do more work on all of these uh, pieces or many of them anyhow. Cool. Okay, that's it for now.